Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to another video. This video, we're going to be talking about GeForce Now July update and good settings to increase your uh, performance and optimization for GeForce Now. So, I hope this guy has helped you out a lot. So, make sure you guys watch this video till the end. Also, 96% of you guys haven't yet subscribed yet. So, please help me a bit. Subscription is free. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. And without wasting up any further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright, firstly, I'm gonna be opening up my GeForce now and updating it to the latest version. And the first thing you guys can see is the release highlights. So, the first thing that they have added is the in stream statistics. Now, the thing is that you can enable the in stream statistics by the settings in your um, GeForce Now app. And once you start running the game, you guys can see an interface like this, which shows you your ping, your packet loss, and your FPS of the stream. Also, you can customize it to see the stability of your network and the quality of your stream and the server locations as well. So I go, I guess um, this is a really needed feature that they have added. So yeah, I guess it's great. Alright, next thing, if I scroll all the way down, I don't see the bug fix. Um, they have fixed a lot of bugs that, that is um, the Epic Games related bugs that yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section down below for the account and all and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me that highlights uh, is not working with Fortnite so good thing for you it has been fixed anyways the highlight now works properly with Epic Games Fortnite so I guess it's really great a lot of you guys will now be enjoying it more probably good so um, next thing we're gonna be talking about the settings for GeForce now firstly I'm gonna be going through the settings that I want to show you guys so um, if you guys scroll down you guys can see um, the server locations now guys again and you have to keep it auto as I said in the previous video but the streaming quality you guys can go with competitive settings or the custom which I'm gonna be setting you guys right now uh, 10 Mbps and 1920 by 1080 um, oh my god yeah there is um, go for 10 Mbps, 60 FPS, and I just have connection turned on. And this is the really great um, settings that you guys can use for 1080p gaming. Uh, provided you guys stay really close to the server. Uh, also, you guys have to disable the Discord rich presence down here because it takes a lot of data. You guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, moving out, you have to go to the um, the file location of GeForce Now and it will open the shortcut location. Again, you have to go for the file location and this is here. Every stuff is. So firstly, you have to locate GeForce Now or JSON. If you guys don't find this file, go to view and make sure that hidden items is checked on. Um, right click on that and hit edit. And if you don't see edit option, go to open with and use notepad to open this file. Alright, once you open up here, I highly suggest you guys to play it on GFN Accelerator 11. But if it gives you some problem, you, can get, you guys can uh, downscale it to 10. Uh, for me, I'm going to be playing it on 11. Scroll all the way down and until you find something called NVSDL HIDP I True. Um, the NVSDL IOHID configurable, it will be false by default, so you have to turn it to true. Um, once I'm with that, um, just below the uh, NVSDL VSync is equal to true. Just copy this whole line and uh, hit enter, hit paste, um, just, just put a little bit of spacing as it was done over here. Now the uh, remove the vsync and type in RTX. Make sure that it is true. Hit Ctrl S and close the file as well as close your GeForce Now. Now all you have to do is restart your GeForce Now as well as restart your PC and you guys can see it will load a bit and you guys will be here so next thing you have to do is go to settings scroll all the way down and make sure you had enabled the direct mouse input on this is going to be reducing the input lag and the input delay that your mouse and your keyboard will be giving to cloud gaming before running any game, I highly suggest you guys to use Memory Dark. Now, I'll be leaving a link to this software in the description below. I'm going to be showing you guys how you, it works. As you guys can see, there is 44% of memory being used while I'm recording. Once I hit clean memory and I hit yes, just take a look at this memory. So as you guys can see clearly, using Memory Dark will give you a performance boost in GeForce Now as well. 
So guys, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, I'm gonna be leaving a link to all of the uh, all of the videos that will help you increasing the performance and quality of your GeForce Now in the description box below. So make sure you guys go and check those videos out. It's gonna be really helpful for you overall. And if you guys watched it till the end, I highly suggest you guys to subscribe to the channel for more interesting and great content like this um uh, i'll promise that i'm gonna be making these kinds of helpful guide for you guys in the future as well so consider giving me a try um subscription is free so we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out